Welcome to the Bria Podcast. This is Troy. This is Della. Della, I believe you've had a busy week this week. I, I am busy, but this week particularly, I am busy for one, helping our daughter memorize her lines for the school play that's coming up at the Bria Community Middle School. What is the play? Alice in Wonderland. And what have you been doing to help? Well, one, I listen to her say her lines, and then I've been helping a little bit with props, and sometimes I just go down when I'm early to pick her up and I watch them, and it's going to be great. I am really excited about it. Sure. And because of your work, you got the podcast some special access to some rehearsals. <laughs> yes, all my connections. <laughs> all right, it is super exciting. We were able to go into, on a Friday, rehearsal and hear some scenes and talk to some of the children. And then, my goodness, they had a Saturday morning work day. Aren't you so impressed when kids do that? We right. always hear about kids today. They don't, you know, they don't put the effort forward. And then Saturday morning, there they are. Most of the cast, the kids that weren't there were taking the ACT <laughs> or PSAT. It's like, holy cow. I know. It's like they were really busy and they, right. they are committed to this. It's always, it's all, I think it's so inspiring to see True. kids working so earnestly for something. And you'll hear that earnestness in the interviews with them because I did go on a Saturday morning and they were excited about being there. They were still proud about their roles. And that was when I had an opportunity to sit down with Miss Kovetikin and, and have her talk about the excitement that, you know, she from the adult looking, mm -hmm. you know, from the inside is. So this was an exceptional opportunity. One of the things I really have been impressed with too is when I'm there, I'll see Miss Kovetikin actually talking to the backstage crew and you would almost forget that they were kids because she'll say to the lighting guy, does that look right? Can we move that? And I'm like, she's talking to them like a peer, like a professional. Can we move that? What do you think about that light? Or she'll say, now, now we've got to get this on and that out to get that off. I need my crew. And there they are doing their jobs. I just think it's really fabulous to see them all working towards one common goal like right. this. And it's a funny play because uh, the kid's timing is really cute on it. Good deal. Good deal. All right, well, without any further ado, you'll hear a montage of the different interviews and the different children talking and doing their scenes. We'll come back at the end. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the world of Wonderland. Today you'll meet a little girl named Alice and some very unusual characters. The people in the play are waiting backstage to meet you. Some of them will make you laugh. A message from the Queen. A big message. A big heavy message. A message from the Queen for me? Well, well. Uh, part of me a moment. She says, she says, uh, get on with it. Uh, tell her, wake up. <laughs> tell her I'm doing my best. <sighs> doing his best. So he says. You've heard that one before. I think I'd better begin the story. Okay. Sorry, sorry, let me uh, interrupt you just for a second. What is your name and what do you play in the play? My name is Tori and I play the Duchess. Okay. What is one of your lines in the play? Um, I say, baby, piggy, piggy, baby. Does that help your education? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick, quick. Let me catch you really fast. Tell me your first name and then what you play in the play. I'm Olivia and I play the March Hare. Already. What is one of your favorite lines? Probably my favorite line is tea time. That's it? How many hours of rehearsal have you done in the play? That is a good question. <laughs> More than you can count on two hands? Yes, yes. Wow. Very great, but thank you. You're doing a great job. Can I catch you just for a second? Tell me your first name and your role in the play. Uh, my name is Reese and I play the Cheshire Cat. What have you done to get into the mindset of the Cheshire Cat? Um, you know, that's a pretty long answer. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> That's a long answer. That's too long for you, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we're great. We're great. Already, uh, what's your favorite line in the play? Um, my favorite line would probably be, I'm a Cheshire cat, that's why. Oh, gotcha. Probably. Do you want that on a t-shirt? That would be a pretty cool t-shirt. Yeah. And speaking of t-shirts, you've got a Godzilla t-shirt on now. I do. You're pretty cool. Have you seen all the Godzilla movies? Yes, I actually have. Awesome. That is. Yeah. Let me grab you for a second. Hey, 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 tell me your first name and your part in the play. My name is Bryn and I play the cook. The cook? What's her favorite ingredient? Pepper. You know that because that's 
a line every in. single line pretty much that's impressive that's impressive do you know how to cook no oh <laughs> okay good deal good deal well thanks so much oh let me grab you really fast what is your name and what's your part in the play what's your favorite part of the play too my name's carlton i play the white rabbit um my favorite part in the play is probably just random moments where I hop on, say I'm late, and then go off. It's really all I do. Is that like life imitating art or art imitating life? Eh, probably a mixture of both. Oh, good, 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 good. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Continue, continue your work. Hey, hey, come here for a second. Could I, could I ask you some questions? Yeah. Okay, okay, well, first tell me your names. I'm Aya. Okay. I'm Adia. All righty. What role do you play in the play? I play Tweedledum. Okay, so are you the Cheshire Cat? No, I'm Tweedledee. Okay, okay, gosh, so Tweedledee and Tweedledum, those are like iconic characters from the yeah. play. They, they talk about Tweedledee and Tweedledum outside of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you excited about being these unique special characters? Yeah, yes, I am. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So you know all your lines, right? Yeah, yeah, I got them down. All right, well, would you drop a scene, just come into a scene, no preparation, just your lines back okay, and sure. forth? I don't think it's going to rain. No how. Contrary-wise, it is going to rain. No how it never rains. Contrary wise, it always rains. No how. Contrary wise. No how. Yeah, and that. Yeah, we just basically go back and forth the whole time. That's yeah. most of the play. All right. Do you practice that at home? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a natural thing you fall into, I, I think. Huh? Yeah, it right. relates to us since we are real life twins. <laughs> oh wow, that's so awesome. Alrighty, I have corralled the backstage crew together. Is that what you call yourselves collectively, the backstage crew? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, they're so excited to be here on a 9 o'clock on a Saturday morning. I'm going to go around and have you introduce yourself. Just tell me your first name and what you do with the play, okay? And I may have some questions along the way, all right? Ryu right here, tell me your name. Uh, Lincoln. Already, Lincoln, what uh, what do you do with the play? Um, I move props around and hold the curtains open for people. Okay, so that's like going on backstage. When someone comes out you, and the case, the curtain moves, it's you moving it, right? Yeah. Already, I'll watch for that. Already, tell me your name. My name is Landon. Okay, Landon, what is your part in the play? Uh, I move the curtains, like, for different scenes. Oh, like open them and close yeah. them and things like that? Okay. How is it heavy? Are the curtains heavy? No, not really. It's just the rope is kind of thin and it kind of burns. How do you know when to open the curtains? Um, There's different lines that they say. Alrighty, tell me your name. Scarlet. Alright, what part do you play in the play? I made the flyer after. Okay, the poster? Yeah. That's that's around, like hanging up everything? What's it like to see your work out and about? I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. Are you serious? She it's said like, she was going to put it up like today or something. It's, or they're awesome. I've seen them from the back. Congratulations. Way Thanks. to go. Way to go. All right. What is your name? Abby. All right, Abby, what do you do? I make the props. You make, make the props? Like there's nothing there and you say, I want pepper. Well, like kind of, she just gives us things and then we have to try to do the best as we can. Well, of course it's going to be <laughs> glorious though. What's something that you're excited about making? The flowers. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Are they big or small flowers? Kind of big. Awesome. Nice. Because nice. it's Wonderland, right? They have to be spectacular. All righty, let's move around a little bit more. And what is your name? I'm Lydia. All righty, I'm Lydia. Tell me about your day and your role in the play. Okay. Um, I'm stage manager, which means I um, make sure the actors are where they're supposed to be. Okay. I give them their cues. Um, I tell them what scene it is. Gotcha. Just so that they have all the information they need to do their job. The best they can. And you actually have a title? Are you going to put it on your resume? Um, maybe. I don't know. I've done a few plays, so it just it feels like the same thing, kind of. So you make sure that uh, actors are on their marks Mm -hmm. and that they go out at the right time. Yep. Have you lost an actor before? Um, I do that quite frequently. I don't mean to, but they go out into the hallway or to the bathroom and they don't tell me. Oh, and then because they're middle schoolers, right? Because they're middle schoolers, it's oh. time for them to be out there, and I don't know where they are. And oh. So I do a lot of running around. That's great. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Well, you do a good job Thank already. You. Already, what is your name? Eli. Eli, tell me what your role in the play is. I just do lights and sound in general. Like, oh, now are you in the back? Yeah, there's sort of a booth made out of plywood. Uh huh. Um, at the very back of the theater. It's just got a bunch of switches, and there's like a soundboard, a bunch of knobs that do nothing. Okay. And Do you touch those, yeah. the ones that do nothing? No. Nah. Okay. 
my but what are it. ones that do something? What are they? They're just a little box, and it has just sliders for all the lights on them, and you can hook them up to different ones. Okay, and so like the and lights and sound. So when yeah. I can hear or the lights go out, that's you, huh? Mm-hmm. Awesome, awesome, great, good job. Oh, and what is your name? Samuel. Samuel, what do you do with the play? I help with the lights. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So what physically do you do? You touch the knobs. Does he let you touch the knobs that don't work? <laughs> I guess. Okay, <laughs> so you get the knobs that don't work on. Awesome. What about, uh, what lights should we watch that you definitely are doing? Uh, I, can, I help with the, like, spotlight. Yeah? So the spotlight, you turn it around when, when the actors are... Or, like, are... you push the slide and it turns on. Comes up. Oh, gotcha. All right. Well, congratulations. Thanks so much. Alrighty, backstage crew, you are integral to the play. Do you know that? And the cast of this play is huge. Also in the play, but I haven't had a chance to hear on stage yet, is... Uh, I'm Alex Wright, and I play the king. Okay. Uh, I'm Starthony, and I play the knave. Okay. Uh, my name is Caroline Schill, and I'm in the stage crew. Awesome, awesome. I'm Jessica, I play Trey. Oh, whoa. Excellent. Yes. I'm Brendan, I play the cook. Thank you. Uh, my name is Parker, and I play the Queen of Hearts. And what's the Queen of Hearts' famous line? Off with their heads. All right. Hi, I'm Abby, and I play Marigold. Hi, my name is Jessica, and I play Daisy. Hi, my name is Grace, and I play Tiger Lily. Hi, my name is Nate, and I am Deuce and Quattro. Hi, I'm Dovey, and I play the role as Violet. And as you can tell, they are excited about their parts, and it is a great thing happening here at school on a Saturday morning. Quiet on the set. Oh, time, where are you? Who is time and what is he? Do you have the time? Do you? Do you? It's today, you say? Impossible. Could it be? Never. Never, never more! Aha, there you are. Come along, you'll be late. I will. It's tea time. It is? Then you see, it's tea time. Pepper. A chew! No, thank you. I think there's too much pepper already. There's never too much pepper! A chew! I see. Well, are you just going to stand there? Why don't you say, how do we do? Oh, yes, of course. How do you do? I've been better. Aren't you feeling well? Well, what? Aren't... What? What are you talking about? I don't know, actually. (laughs) You don't know much, and that's a fact. I suppose it is. Of course it is. Pepper! Pig! What? Not you. Him. You mean the baby. Pig! Pepper! And the moral of that is birds of a feather flock together. That's why. Really? I didn't know Cheshire cats had grins. In fact, I didn't know cats could have grins at all. Well, they can, and most of us do. I just don't know any that do, you see. Uh, maybe you don't know as much about cats as you think you do. Maybe not. Cheshire cat, could you please answer a question? That depends a great deal on what you want to know. Would you tell me, please, which way I ought to go from here? That depends a great deal on where you want to go. I don't care very much where. Uh, Then it doesn't matter which way you go. As long as I get somewhere. Oh, you're certain to arrive somewhere if you walk long enough. So, Ms. Kivadek, can I grab you and can we interview while it's kind of slow down sure, here? Sure, sure. Okay, on this Saturday yeah, morning. Yeah, let's, yeah, go let's go. All right, into the teacher's lounge. Into the teacher's lounge. I feel yeah. such power. Awesome. <laughs> that is exciting. 
Whoa. I've just never been in here before, huh? No. <laughs> yeah. Too awesome. So velvet chairs. Velvet huh? chairs. The couch. <laughs> well, let me recline on the shade. The screen uh, TV. I know. That is incredible. All right. Now tell me about this production of Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. It was sort of a group idea with my middle school drama students. Um, we talked about what we wanted to do and we tossed around some ideas and came up with Alice in Wonderland. Okay. And so that's what we decided to do. And we have an extended cast. So there's quite a few kiddos in this play. Sure. Yeah. So was it in the classroom and you started there to, and then this, mm -hmm. or how did that? Yes, well, um, we have a drama seminar okay. and the kids come to seminar class. They get to pick whether they want to be into the drama mm -hmm. seminar and they chose to uh, work with me okay. and so we meet during the school day and we do all the production planning and you know the play planning and that's what we just decided on as a group that Great. we would love to do that and all those skills are transferable skills into life skills because like exactly. you said, planning and you yes. know knowing when there's a time to act out and when it's a time to be serious those are skills that you know you can't test mm -hmm. for exactly but you have to practice. Sure. And um, I think the most important part is that I'm working with all the kids to have different um, group things. And and this is our Spanish teacher just popped into our lustrous lounge here. So nice. Yes. She's on this. She's on the Stairmaster over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, we have youth basketball league going on. We have lots of things happening today it's in the building. It's a crazy Saturday yeah, morning. Yeah, it's a crazy sure Saturday enough. morning here at the community school. Great. So they so they had that experience. What makes you unique to be able to talk about production and talk about you know play that okay. you know you personally? Okay. I, I, I know sure. a little bit of your history. But tell me, you know how how you know you bring some unique experience to Bria. Okay. Um, just to back up just a minute though, okay. um, just to answer your question before, um, when I'm working with the kids, I want them to be able to uh, be a part of that. So I have my stage manager who is an eighth grader. I have my mm -hmm. assistant stage manager and my prop kiddos and I have my mm -hmm. actors and actresses. And, and they're so proud. Exactly. One, yeah. they have a title. They're like, yeah. Oh. And I, and you know, they have a job. So like I have my lighting director and my music person and they're learning the skills to light the theater and to, um, uh, you know, produce the music and do all of that technical stuff that they need to do for the play and open the curtains on time and and just work in general. So I think that's all skills that are very, very important too. No, so, right, definitely yeah, follow up. Yeah. Plan, sure enough. Yeah. And another one, this is our uh, other, <laughs> we have a very busy teacher's lounge today. <laughs> yeah. She's going to the pool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, <it's> splash. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, okay. Um, my background, you yes. asked you about, yeah. Um, well, after college, I moved to Los Angeles, California. The LA? The, the LA, okay. yeah. Great. <laughs> and um, I started working in the movie business. Okay. I'm, I'm an art major. Okay. And I actually teach English and communications here at Brick Community, but I also have a certificate to teach art. Okay. And I have a degree in studio art and okay. a master's degree. And so that's always been my first love. When I went to L.A., I just sort of cold called a lot of special effects places because I'm very interested in special effects in movies, and I've always mm -hmm. loved to... Um, act and be in theater here at Bray Community School. I was part of the uh, Kennedy Theater uh, with Mr. Eddie Kennedy mm -hmm. and um, he was sort of my mentor so I was in his award winning plays that he wrote and produced and um, so that love of theater just carried on and especially with movies and I love sculpting and being creative and making costumes. I've done that my entire life. Nice. So I just sort of went out and went for it sure. and so I went down to just different houses, uh, you know, prop houses, uh, different studios, and I took my portfolio and, hey, do you have a job? Uh, here's my work. Maybe I could, and yes, they did, and nice. my first job was for a TV show, which was called Masked Rider, 
and it was about sort of this giant bug dude who rides a motorcycle and fights space people. Is it, it online or can you find yes, it Yes, you can find it online. I'm sure you, if you, it's a Saban production and they did like Power Rangers and that genre okay, type. Awesome. Yeah. So anyway, um, that was my first gig, so to speak. And I made metal hands for a character called Dragon and the costuming okay. uh, for that production. Um, and then uh, I continued on at this uh this prop house, special effects house, okay. and I worked on uh, Escape from L.A. with Kurt Russell. Right. And so I made his stealth suit and his eye patch and for the movie. You made his eye patch. I made that, like, Kurt Russell's eye patch. Yes, awesome. I got to actually fit him and see him and work on that. And he loved his stealth suit. Oh. And now, was this pre or post Goldie Hawn? Um, no, he was married to Goldie Hawn at okay. that time. Okay. Yeah, he's right. been with her for quite a while. Right. Yeah. Um, but he's a very cool dude. I got to meet John Carpenter, who oh, actually, wow. you know, the, directed the, 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 right. and produced the movie um, with Deborah Hill. And it was just fantastic. So I worked on that movie. Okay. Um, after I was on that movie, I actually kind of got stolen away and worked on a movie called Starship Troopers. Where I made, no way! Yes way! Oh, wow! Yeah, so I made Big Giant or... Rachnid bugs right, and no, the brain exactly. bug, you, oh, the big brain bug, right. yes, and with, that starred with Neil Patrick Harris. Yes, right there, yes. Yeah. So I worked on that movie, and then I've done quite a few movies. Um, but my big claim to fame, I worked on Alien Resurrection, Godzilla, uh, Which with Godzilla? Patrick Tatopoulos, uh, who produced or uh, did the production and the Godzilla creatures. Right. Um, that's the one with Matthew Broderick. Right. Yeah, okay. Right. That Godzilla. So I made all the baby Godzillas. I did mostly finishing work on that sure yeah so um then my claim to fame that most of the kids really love and okay. everybody thinks is so not godzilla not godzilla it's oh. interesting it's the bride of chucky okay yeah so i so, and so what year was that what did that one come out oh gosh i you know that's really sad i don't know what year that was they all seem to have melted together because you were thinking alice in wonderland yeah right? i'm thinking right. alice in wonderland <laughs> right now um that would have been around 90 97, 98. Okay. I think 98 is when we finished production on uh, Bride of Chucky. Okay. So, um, anyway, it, it takes a huge crew. So we started sure. on it months in advance. Gotcha. I actually had to move to Canada for three and a half months to work on the... Uh, to work on a doll? To work on... the Well, to work on the movie. I puppeteered Tiffany's face. I okay. worked with some other... So you call her Tiffany? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I uh, created her uh, dress and yes. uh, her costuming, okay, and uh, puppeteered her face. And I and that like sounds in funny the movie? So in the, the face movie. Moving, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. You can see all my credits. Yeah, and I'm actually, uh, yeah, you can see everything there wow. if you Google me, which the kids like to do. A lot okay. of my movies pop up. Oh, Sleepy Hollow is another one. That no I, way. Yes, with Johnny Depp. Uh, right. And I created the crows that that are in the movie. Right. The birds, and I also created the headless horseman's harness, and then um, I created the cardinal that the witch holds, um, okay. the dead cardinal that she presents to uh, Johnny Depp, so because you... it's a memory from his mother, and so right. he, she's trying to trigger him with that particular scene. Yeah, so I've I've worked on a lot of things. Um, so Let I, me ask. Go ahead and if you would. Oh, uh, spell. my favorite Martian, but the big one that I'm, I I think I loved mostly was working on Alien Resurrection. Okay. I worked on set on Alien Resurrection, but I also created so. I mean, I, I obviously did not create the creatures, sure. you know, um, but, but I worked iteration. on them. There's yes, an and in and movie. we have a huge crew. So we have sculptors mm -hmm. and mold makers and. Uh, the folks that do the hydraulics to make the creatures move, the engineers sure. that engineer every little part, the machinists that make every little part. Gotcha. And I was mostly the finishing. I made it look like the creature. So right. the the newborn creature that's right. in Alien Resurrection. Gotcha. I was the one that finished and painted that creature along with another girl um, that uh, Christine Popalexis, I think her name was. And uh, yeah, we're in. I'm in a book, and I've been in magazines uh, like Fangoria. No way! Yes, oh, yeah. Wow. 
So, okay. yeah, and I'm still working right now. I'm doing a, a costume for a gentleman up in New York. Okay. And so I'm very busy. I have a tendency to um, not say no. I'm like, I can do it. But I'm so, <laughs> this is like what I love. So sure. I have a tendency right. to go, I'll do it. Yes, I could create a thousand costumes plus put on Alice in Wonderland. Absolutely. Yeah. Wait, so if someone wanted to Google and see all your things, spell your name out for okay. everyone. Um, my last name? Well, well how Pamela. people would oh, find you. Yeah, you could just... Pamela Kavatikin, and it's C V okay. E T okay. I C A N I N. Already, so Pamela traditionally spelled yes, and the spelling Kavatikin. Okay, yeah, excellent. for sure. Yeah. What are you excited about this play? What should people come out to definitely notice? I think they should come and notice the children. They have been working so hard. Um, they're such great kids, and they have such talent. And I'm just so impressed with what hard workers they are, how nice and sweet they are, and dedicated. And Berea Community just feels like such a home to me and family. Mm -hmm. I spent 12 years of my life here as a student, mm -hmm. and I've always had a connection to this community. I was grew up here, I've been in theater all my life here. Even when I was a child, um, at five years old, I was doing community theater in the Kennedy Theater mm. here. Um, I think the first play with Doc Clifford Kirby and Eddie Kennedy was Inherit the Wind was the very first play I was ever in. What is a fifth grade or a five-year-old <laughs> role in Inherit the Wind? Um, I was actually um, Clifford's daughter in the film and I just sat, I mean not in the film but on the, the play, play. Right. I'm getting like, yeah. Um, I just sat there in the courtroom scene, okay. so yeah. Gotcha. But that was the very first one I was sure. in. That yeah. is awesome. But to, to go back to Alice in Wonderland, I yes. really think that the kids are just fantastic and I think they just need to come to see what awesome actors and actresses I have and just what a great family and what a, just a great group of kids I have. And they're fun. It's a funny play. Sure. And yeah. So. When is the production? When um, It is February 16th and 17th, which is uh, this coming weekend, Friday right. and Saturday night. Okay. It starts at 7 and um, we don't take reservations, but you can come early and... Um, to make sure to get a mm -hmm, seat. Yeah, and if we do need special accommodations, they can contact me okay. here at Bria Community School and we can uh, work with that in regards to if we need someone to have a front seat or sure. something like that. Alrighty, so this is going to be the middle of February. When did you all start talking about it, though? That we started back in November. Right. Yeah. And, yeah, we started at the beginning of November talking about this. That's I think that really represents the, you know, the thought and the effort mm -hmm. that these, you know, the children have. Dedication, yes. I would call it. Yeah. Yeah, good word, good word. Yeah, dedication. Great. And it's $3 to get in. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. $3 to get in. Great. So and we'll make that. What if they wanted to contact you, people listening wanted to contact um, They could you. contact me here at the community school uh, during the day, or okay. they could reach me um, through email. Uh, Pamela.Kavatican at BereaKYSchools.us. Okay. BereaKYSchools.us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And, um, and I'm on Facebook. They can okay. message me on Facebook. They can awesome. look me up there, too. All righty. Yeah. Good deal. Well, thank you so much for oh, your time. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks and for this doing this. So I think the kids are just tickled, and I'm, I'm super excited. Thank you so much for taking your time, especially for helping, uh, you know, uh, just make this a success. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, the, kids, I, I, yeah, the parents job. and the kids. I I think it's, like I said, family, community, that's what I find Berea is so fantastic for. And, um, yeah, so. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope the fun came across during the interviews because it was super being a part of the rehearsals and the work day. It was, and I would encourage everyone to go out. Uh, this weekend, it's Friday and Saturday. February 16th and 17th from 7 to 9 down at the Berea Community Middle School. In the Kennedy Theater. It, which actually looks like a real theater, has really good seats, and it's a good stage. If no one, if some of you all have never been out there, it's pretty. It's a pretty nice little uh, theater they have there. Absolutely. So, see you there, and until next week. Bye. Today is why I stay.